Can these two hurting souls make peace with the past and open their hearts to a new beginning? Well, let's find out more about that in this week's book pre-review, the books I'm excited to read. Hi, Terry Gillespie here, and welcome to Book Pre-Review, the books I'm excited to read. And I'm really excited about this new book. Um, I'm not familiar with the author, although she's a best-selling and award-winning author, but I was just fascinated by the title. And this week's featured book is Sea Glass Cottage. And that just evokes so much of an image to me that it was, I got to read this book. And the book was written by award-winning and best-selling author Irene Hannon. So I'm looking forward to getting to know Irene's uh, writing and this new book. So this book releases in April and can be ordered in hardback paperback and ebook. And a big thanks to NetGalley and the gals at Ravel for the complimentary ebook so that I could read and give my honest opinion. So I'm really excited to give my honest opinion. The genre is contemporary Christian romance, clean and wholesome romance, and contemporary romance. And Irene's website, which I really liked her website, uh, is www.irenehannon.com. And my wonderful husband put that up on the screen, and it's probably gone by now. But don't worry, because those links are all down in the description section. If you don't see her website, hit show more and it'll show more. So, and on your way down to the description section, if you could like, comment, and share this video, it really does help these authors and um, these books get out into the YouTube world. So the more that more likes and the more shares and the more subscribes, which is that red button, over there, um, the more subscribes, the more uh, it elevates in the YouTube world. So people who would normally not see this video would see this video because there's a buzz going on. So, and by the way, um, my regular subscribers, thank you so much for um, continuing to watch and to comment and to make this program so successful. And if you're new to this program, I hope that you'll come back again. Because by the way, when you subscribe, you get three different series, book pre-review, book reviews, and book author highlights and giveaways. And there'll be more about that on uh, as you go down below into the description section. How about a brief bio on Irene? Irene is the best-selling author of more than 60 novels. Now, how in the world have I not known about Irene? I'm so sorry, Irene, but I'm definitely interested. So you'll be seeing more of me, including the long-running Hope Harbor series, which I have heard of, as well as Labyrinth of Lies, Point of Danger, and The Code of Honor, Private Justice, and Men of Valor suspense series. Uh, actually, my sister used to read those. Oh, my goodness. My late sister was a fan of yours, Irene. Try not to cry. Her books have been honored with three coveted Rita Awards, from Romance Writers of America, and she is a member of that organization's elite Hall of Fame. Her many other awards include National Reader's Choice, Daphne du Moyer, Reader, 
Retailer's Choice, Booksellers Best, Carol Awards, and Reader's Choice from RT Book Reviews Magazine, which also honored her with a Career Achievement Award for her entire body of work. In addition, she is a two-time Christie Award finalist. I hope soon you won't be a finalist, you'll be a winner. Maybe this is the book. So here are the publisher's notes. Christy Reese is desperate. The one-time Golden Girl's life has tarnished and a cascade of setbacks have left her reeling. She needs help. And she's certain Jack Colby is in a position to provide it. When she shows up in Hope Harbor, however, Jack wants nothing to do with the woman who betrayed him. He's built a new life on the Oregon coast, and there's no room in it for Christy. Even after she takes refuge in a charming but mysterious cottage nearby, and that must be the Seastone Cottage. Yet it soon becomes apparent his opinion of her may need revising, especially when he ends up needing her help. Can these two hurting souls make peace with their past and open their hearts to a new beginning? Come home to Hope Harbor, where hearts heal and love blooms. Best-selling and award-winning author Irene Hannon delivers another heartwarming and romantic story set in the enchanting seaside community of Hope Harbor. And this Hope Harbor is loved by readers the world over. And once you visit, you'll never want to leave. So I'm really looking forward to reading this book. Now you can purchase Sea Glass Cottage at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, BookBub, ChristianBook.com, and your local bookstore or retailers. And what do we do if the book is not on the shelf, which I doubt, but if it isn't, what do we do? We go up and ask for it, politely, of course. Now, my reviews are posted on applicable venues like Amazon, BookBub, Goodreads, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, NetGalley, and ChristianBook.com. And while you're looking at the links, uh, you'll see a link to my website. And uh, I've tried to make my website have something for everyone. Not only are my my books out there, but uh, also uh, you can get recipes from some of the books. You can get questions for your discussion group or your book club, and you can actually read a couple of chapters to see if it's a book that you would like to read. Also, I do a daily devotion um, called Daily Word, ironically. And then also I have in archive uh, over 600 devotions on the book of Proverbs. So if you're looking for some wisdom, and aren't we all these days, um, it might be helpful to you. You can just look it up by chapter and verse and see what devotion was written for that day. Also, I would be very grateful if you would follow, subscribe, and like me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, BookBub, Goodreads, and MeWe. And that's it for this week. Be sure to stay tuned next week for another episode of Book Pre-Review, the books I'm excited to read. In the meantime, God bless and keep reading. Yep, keep reading.